Welcome to the U.S. Emily Step 1 Study Guide. Today we'll be focusing on Hardy-Weinberg genetics and imprinting disorders. Hardy-Weinberg genetics typically involve conceptually knowing how allele frequencies can change and vary over time. There are a specific set of conditions required which tells us when a population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. We can use the equation to calculate the allele frequencies in a population that is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. It is important to know that when a population is in such equilibrium, then the values of P and Q do not change. The second equation can be used to calculate more in-depth calculations of specific genotypes. Imprinting is a mechanism by which genes are silenced via methylation of specific sites on DNA. When one copy of a gene is silenced, the other can be expressed. Here we have two disorders. In Prader-Willis syndrome, maternally derived genes are silenced and typically happens when the paternal allele is mutated or deleted. So we can say that the P stands for paternal deletion or mutation. Now, in this case, neither genes are expressed. This results in hyperphagia, obesity, intellectual disability, hypogonadism, and hypotonia. Angelman syndrome happens when the paternally derived UBE3A gene is silenced. The maternal allele is deleted or mutated. This can result in seizures, ataxia, intellectual disability, and laughter. The take home here is that both are caused by an issue with chromosome 15. However, in Prader-Willis, it will be a deletion or mutation of paternal origin, and in Agelman, it will be of maternal origin. So, here's a question to answer, and the answer will be circled at the end of the video. The reason this is B is because the values of P and Q do not change, indicating that allele frequencies are not changing.